Hello again, people. Uh, it's been a while. Like a, like a month. But probably nobody really cares, so why? No, nobody cares. So, I want to discuss about um, the How to Train Your Dragon game. Now, I know that everything that happened in it and the game shutting down and then a reopening up happened a long time ago ish but the way people reacted to the game shutting down was not so that was just pure it was just toxic man dude okay so if you want to see all of my evidence providing this claim i will leave um his description his um group in the description so you can look through all the chat wall then you'll find all this stuff and once you scroll down pretty deep but i think everybody who supported the creator all the way through and i really appreciate that because i think that because once this game shut it down, everybody showed their real true colors and how toxic they can be. And that kind of really made me upset because that creator is actually pretty nice, but people accuse him of scamming because since the game shut down and some people bought the game passes, they count it as a scam, but literally no he can't even return that robux and even if he could he would have to take the time to get back the robux to every single player who bought the game pass which i'm pretty sure it's over 100 and uh we ain't got time for that <laughs> that no literally you guys are complaining you guys some of you guys you know who you are when the game shut it down, we're complaining about something that can't even actually happen yet. I don't know if Roblox is gonna release something where you can that you can return all the Robux to players, but I don't think that's gonna happen because why? Honestly. Yeah, maybe not seem fair to the player, but think about it. It's genuinely your fault for buying that game pass. No one genuinely forced you to click that buy button on the game pass. It was your choice to waste that Robux on the game pass. So even if he was a scammer-ish, let's say he overpriced the game pass, that was your fault for buying it, <laughs> not his. Clearly that's just you being an idiot, but I'm not, I'm not gonna throw y'all. Nah, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that. Hopefully. Yeah. I know a lot of people are already are, like, calmed down about this. And then when the game opened back up, that was great, I guess. I mean, I get the players' frustrations over the game shutting down, because, I mean, I'm gonna have to be honest with you too. I mean, I've had good memories here. I met so many people on it, and I had fun in this game. But like, yo, I'm not gonna point out names or usernames, I guess you can call it. But someone even went to the extent of sending death threats, or not death threats, but just telling the creator, "Oh, you should go kill yourself" and stuff like that. And that was really absurd. That was. Dude, what the heck? No, lo nobody's life should be the same value of a game. Calm down, like oh my. Sometimes this ro Roblox community can be so toxic sometimes, and it's kind of frustrating to me. And yeah, honestly, that's just. But, getting that out of the way, I, like I said, I know it's not all of you. You are very, some of you were very supportive and I really appreciate that. And we need more great people like you who actually understand. And I will link to the creator's explanation of why he shut it down the game and even in the first place. So you guys can understand. But, 
second thing I want to bring up is that when the game was brought back into the game, he posted on the group wall, you know, or just in general, I think he did a video on it, but he discussed that the fact that he was, he, oh, okay, so he opened back up the game, but he's gonna add updates when he wants to. Giving him ideas for an update isn't necessarily gonna mean, oh, it's gonna actually happen, you know. For example, I saw, like, a really big topic wanting to be a Rumble Horn ad game. Like, yes, Rumble Horn's cool, but, like, why? Like, based off of what the video he, he discussed about, you know, not wanting to, this game, it, he feel like he chained himself to it, basically. Like, he was adding updates because of the community, not because he wanted to do it. He just felt like he was forcing himself to do it, you know? So, and I know not a lot of people already know this game. <laughs> to be honest, this is not the biggest game, you know? I'm, I'm not, like, trying to cause drama or drama. Yeah. If it seems like I am, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't really intend to, but I just... I know things have died down, but this is not okay. And I think this needs to be talked about, and I know, like, not a lot of other people know about this, so... As much, so... It, but people kept requesting updates, and people obviously told them about the fact that... did not gonna add updates. He's just gonna add updates when he wants to. So, just chill. But, you know, that ain't stopping the community, right man. Hey, good topic. She's toxic. I'm good. But, everything's chill now-ish, but I still wanted to talk about it because that's... The way players reacted wasn't and plus, man, Ibarco, wonderful game. Because, you know, the thing about I the difference with How to Train Your Dragon game and Ibarco is, first of all, How to Train Your Dragon is a fan game, so it's not even original. Second of all, obviously, we learn now that the creator doesn't even genuinely want to add stuff to the How to Train Your Dragon game. Maybe exceptions for, like, the grunt lore, hidden lore, and stuff like that. But besides that, I don't genuinely think that you actually gen want to update to this game. And then, but compared to Barku, okay, yeah, this is the updates are slow sometimes, and then, you know, but they really come out great because he actually wants to put input into it. And I'm glad I got to be something a part of that slightly. You know, not, I don't do much, but I'm just glad I can see it unfold into a masterpiece, you know? But, I mean, not a lot of people play it, obviously, but, you know, it, it's a great game. It obviously need, it needs improvement, but, you know, with every game, there it's always has its flaws, you know? It could be either gameplay, modeling, scripting, you know, all that. But it has a good parts also. Although the Hydro Trainer Dragon game, I'm not sure about its community because I've seen the cringiest stuff come from this game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm done right there. More. I hope you guys have a good day, a night, whether you're watching, whatever time you're watching us, um, I'm Janet here, um, all the videos, his group, so you can see what I'm talking about, and, uh, will be in the description, and, um, you can check out this game, I guess, if you want, if you like How to Train the Dragon, and play Roblox games, and you're trying to look for one, then, yeah, there you go, but, eh, it, I'm not really done this game, genuinely, but, go ahead if you want, have a nice day, y'all, I'm the right name for